There doesn't appear to be at this point anything that's going to stop the Emerald Ash Borer from moving. A good share of where, where the federal money is going and to a certain extent a lot of the state money is looking to see where it actually is so, so, uh, so municipalities and, and individuals and so on can make decisions on whether they should, uh, what kind of state of a program of, of ash management they should be looking at. Main pathways of spread of Emerald Ash Borer are firewood and nursery stock and then there's also concern about uh, pallets and woodpacking materials. That's probably how emerald ash borer originally came into the United States, was in woodpacking materials from China. So that's a, an area of concern. And then also lumber or other ash wood products. Yeah, the exit holes are, are, are flat on one side and, uh, and D-shaped and about an eighth of an inch across. And, uh, and they're very characteristic in that, in that type of shape. Uh, and. Uh, and this is where the beetle comes out when it, when it gets fully grown. Uh, this is actually one from an ash uh, privet borer. It's more of an oval shape and, and a larger hole, about 3 sixteenths of an inch across compared to the, to the eighth inch long flat sided D-shaped um, emerald ash borer emergence holes. And so that's, that's an important difference. Many times you can shave a bark down to really see what the hole size and shape is, which helps a lot. Uh, the insect actually does feeding in the cambium area, and uh, and and the and the tunnels are going to be are going to be typically uh, about an eighth of an inch wide, and and wind throughout the area. They show up on the underside of a bark here, but actually where they cause the biggest problem is on the surface of a wood, the cambium area, where you have the conducting tissues for the plant, are actually uh, what's being what's being eaten away. As you can see, the uh, the tunnels tend to have uh, tend to be filled with what we call Frass, which is a which is a mixture of fecal matter and uh, and wood chips associated with that. We also have the uh, adult stages of emerald ash borer: females on the left, males on the right. Males are slightly smaller and more slender than the, than the females. They're all about about a, about a half an inch long, and uh, and they're kind of bullet shaped, kind of rounded at the front, narrowed towards the back end. Um, they are they are also uh, emerald green on the underside of the insect as well with some little splashings of bronze on them. The overall color is emerald green. You see the insect fly, it's, uh, it's bright crimson on the, on, the un, on the upper side of the abdomen so you'll see a flash of red sometimes if they're flying around. They will come up and land on the tree, uh, mating occurs there, the, the, they will feed some on the, on the leaves and this is, uh, this is a good way of knowing what you've got and, and seeing what the insect actually looks like.